I truly understand that the only thing that's going to be fulfilling is me expressing my martial arts on film and sharing that experience with you all, bringing to light the vision of the writers, directors, and producers. How do I utilize my skills to assist in bringing this project to completion and to light? The fire to do martial arts on film and be a martial arts actor, an action actor, it burns. I don't care how high I go in tech. I don't care how much money I make in tech. It's not fulfilling. It just isn't. You know, I would much rather be up at the craziest hours in the craziest locations doing martial arts on film with whoever is in front of me at that time. And I'm putting all my cards in. Yes, I'm going to do, you know, whatever work I need to do to pay my bills, obviously. But I am becoming ruthless in my pursuit to become a martial arts actor. And that will even show in my demo because I'm already prepared for impact stunts and when I say impact stunts, it means actually taking a hit, actually getting kicked over a bench or something like that. Because I didn't grow up watching American action movies at first. Like, obviously we know Tom Cruise. You know, I've seen some sci-fi films and things like that, but I grew up watching Wu Jia films. I grew up watching foreign action films, Asian action and martial arts films. And those Ladies and gentlemen, take impact hits, impact stunts. That's, oh, it, why does it look so real? Because it is real, you know, because it is real. So that's what I'm, that's the level that I'm looking to be at in just my demo. Because my problem with American martial, that's a video idea. Hold on, let me write that down. The things that I see that can make American fight scenes better is because I've studied Wu Jia films. I'm looking to bring some things to light. I'm looking to really change up. And by the way, I am, no, I am nobody right now. So it's going to be epic looking back at this video. And we have this discussion of this video, okay? This is the beauty of film and stuff. However, I want to elevate the level of action for American martial arts films, American action films. I see why they're not doing well, you know? Like, I see why I'm just not in a position to do anything about it. So I want to use my body. I want to use my what I've learned watching and listening and studying foreign action films. There's a reason Itman did well. There's a reason The Raid did very well. There's a reason Ong Bak had the impact it did, even here in America. So, I understand that and I really am going to push to get in position to express that on the American scene and I'll fly anywhere else. We are gonna see where my efforts land me. I'm doing everything brand new this year, my headshot, my action reel, my comp card, all of that, it's gonna be real. It's going to be real. And I only want to be known as an action actor. Maybe I have to do some other stuff leading up to that, but anytime I am on in a scene, I want to be discussing martial arts, my philosophies in martial arts, I want to be doing martial arts. Honestly, like it's, I, that is how bad I want it. That is what I want to be known for. You know, I don't want to do martial arts and then do four other films where I do no martial arts. That is not what I want. I only want to do action and martial arts films. Does that limit me? Yeah, it does. However, that's what I want to be known for. Know what you want to be known for. Know what you want to be remembered by.
and stop compromising with things that are not leading you to your dreams. Martial arts thoughts. Feels good to be back, baby.